trust me this problem has got nothing to do with the weather and the temperature all you need to do is find out the next greater element in the array and find the distance between the current element and that next greater element i am talking about the problem daily temperatures on leet code actually this problem is just an extension to the original problem next greater element however there is just a slight trick involved to find out the distance let us see how we can go about doing that hello friends welcome back to my channel a place where we explore the life of tech and make programming fun and easy to learn first i will explain you the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases next we will solve this problem in a brute force way and see what problems you may face going forward we will see how this problem is very similar to finding the next greater element and try to find an optimal solution we will then also do a dry run of the code so that you understand how all of this actually works in action without further ado let's get started let us quickly make sure that we are understanding the problem statement correctly you are given an array of integers that represents the temperature at each day so if i have this test case with me then the temperature of day 1 is 73 day 2 is 74 day 3 is 75 and so on you get the idea right given all of this you have to find an output array that contains the number of days after which we get a higher temperature for each of the day so for test case number 1 this is your output array and how are you getting it so for example if you look at the temperature 73 if you move one day ahead you see a higher temperature that is 74 right and that is why you put one in your output correct move on to the next day 74 after one day you see the temperature is 75 right and that is higher so for 74 you simply put one correct move on to the next value that is 75 after how many days do you see a higher temperature 1 2 3 4 after 4 days you see a higher temperature that is 76 correct so you will put down 4 in your output array right so similarly you have to find out the values for all of the days right but what happens when you land at 76 you try to look ahead there is only one day right and you cannot find a higher temperature so you need to output zero in that case similarly for the last day will always be a zero because you do not have any additional days right so for our first test case this array will be your answer similarly you can look at our test case number 2 and its output for our day 1 just after one day you find a higher temperature so one is your answer day 2 after one day you get higher temperature so one is your answer for temperature 60 you don't have any other day ahead so you get a zero as your answer right now let us see how we can approach this problem let us say i have the sample array in front of me and i have to find out all the resultant values right what is the most obvious way that you can approach this problem you can start off with the first element that is 73 and then start looking to the right of the array correct if you move one step ahead you see the value 74 and this is higher right so i can simply write down one in my output array correct now you can go on to the next value and then again traverse the entire array towards the right you see a higher value just after one element so once again you write down one in your output array moving on to the third value that is 75 once again you will traverse the entire array and find out 76 as the higher value right this time you took four steps so you can write down four in your output array similarly for 71 you move two steps so you write down two in your output array so this is how you can go on and complete your entire array right try completing this as an exercise just remember that for a day like 76 when you do not find any higher values to the right just output zero right so this is how you can solve this problem and this solution works every time it will give you a correct answer but there is a problem what if your array is very large what if you have so many days then you are iterating through your array again and again right for every element and this will take up a lot of time so you need to find out an optimal way to approach this problem do you remember how i talked about this problem being very similar to the next greater element right so if you have not solved that problem first refer to the link in the description below because we have already found an optimal solution to finding the next greater element because that is exactly what we are doing in this problem i have the element 73 with me right 
and the next greater element or the next greater temperature is 74 correct in our original problem we were entering 74 in our output right but this time you have to enter the distance between these two elements and the distance is 1 right so you will simply write down 1 for 73 correct similarly when i have the element 75 with me what is the next greater element the next greater element is 76 right so in our original problem we would have written 76 over here correct but right now you have to find out the distance so the distance between these two elements is 4 so you will write down 4 in your output array correct so how did we go about finding an optimal solution for a next greater element we had our helper stack with us right so let us once again take the help of this stack but you know that we have to find out the distance one thing that people often ignore about arrays is that an array stores two pieces of information one is the data itself and the other piece of information that people forget are the indices of this array you can take a lot of advantage from these indices for example when you're looking at element 75 the next greater element is 76 right to find out the distance between them you can simply subtract 2 from 6 right and this will give you the distance and you can simply write down this distance in your output array right so in our stack what we're going to do is instead of adding the elements we will add these indices instead so our approach will still remain the same what we're going to do is we will start from the reverse direction we have the element 73 73 will not have any next greater element right so for 73 i can simply write down zero in my output array correct and in our original problem we added the element 73 to our stack right but this time we will add its index so i add 7 to my stack right now move ahead i get the element 76 compare 76 with the top element of the stack that is 73 since the top element is smaller i will keep on popping out elements until the stack is either empty or i get a greater element when i pop out the element i remove both of them my stack is empty so i will write a zero in my output array because i couldn't find any greater element and then i will add index 6 to my stack that simply corresponds to element 76 right move ahead now i get the element 72 compare this element to the top of the stack 76 is greater right that means 76 is the next greatest element so you know that the index of next greater element is 6 and the index of current element is 5 so if you find the difference between these two elements you get the distance 6 minus 5 is 1 so i can simply write down 1 in my output array and what about the stack what do you enter over here you add this new index to your stack which is corresponding to the element 72 right now move ahead i have the element 69 compare 69 to 72 72 is greater and hence this is the next greater element so i will find the difference between 4 and 5 the difference is 1 again so i will write down 1 in my output array my next element is 71 i compare 71 with the top of the stack 72 is greater than 71 right so this is the next greater element so i will write down the difference of 3 and 5 so i get 2 in my output array and you can see that this is adding up right after two days i get a higher temperature and i have two in my output stack right similarly for 75 you will once again compare it since 72 is smaller you will pop out of the stack then you compare 75 to the top of the stack once again 76 is larger so this is the next greater element and then to find the distance you will subtract 2 from 6 and that will give you 4 in your answer right similarly you can add both of these two values as an exercise and once you have traversed this entire array you will ultimately get your output correct now let us quickly do a dry run of the code and see how it is working in action on the left side of your screen you have the actual code to implement this solution and on the right you have an array that represents the temperatures on different days this array is passed in as an input parameter to the function right Oh, and by the way, this complete code and its test cases are also available in my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. So what do we do next? First of all, we create a helper stack 
I have the stack in front of me that will store all of my indices, right? Next, I also create a result array that will store all the distances. Since this array is initialized, all these distances will be zero, correct? Next, we start a for loop from the last element and go all the way up to the first element because we are going in a reverse direction, right? So initially, our stack is empty. So we will skip this condition, we will skip this condition and we will insert the current index in the stack. As soon as I insert the current index, I will add three in my stack, right? This loop will run again and this time I will be at element number 50, correct? So our stack is not empty, right? So what we're gonna do is we will first check if we have any elements that are smaller than 50. Since no elements are smaller than 50, what we're gonna do is we will check the next greater element. The next greater element is 60, right? And we are able to find this in the stack. So what we simply do is we subtract this index and this index. So three minus two will give you one. So I will simply write down one in my output array, right? And I will add this new index to my stack. So this is how this loop will go on and it will complete this entire array. Try to do this as an exercise on your own. The time complexity of this solution is order of n. That is because we are iterating through the array only once and the space complexity of this solution is also order of n. That is because we are taking up a stack that could have a maximum of n elements. I hope I was able to simplify the problem and its solution for you. As per my final thoughts, I just want to say that I know there are a lot of programming problems on lead code, more than a thousand, and you cannot go about solving all of them. And the good part is that all the thousand problems cannot be unique. Most of these problems are derived from an original problem. So whenever you are starting to solve a new problem, just try to identify the core idea behind it. Because if you can solve that, writing the solution to this new problem on top of it will become very, very easy. So what other problems did you find that are based upon the same idea of finding the next greater element? What approach did you take? Can you solve them in a better way now? Tell me everything in the comment section below and I would love to discuss all of them with you. You would be also glad to know that a text explanation to this problem is available on the website studyalgorithms.com, a pretty handy website for your programming needs. You can find the link in the description below. As a reminder, if you found this video helpful, please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends. This motivates me to make more and more such videos where I can simplify programming for you. Also let me know what do you want to learn next or rather what problem do you want me to solve next. I'll be glad to help you out. Until then, see ya.